In Washington right now, there's intense renewed debate over a proposed overhaul of our nation's immigration system. After the Boston Marathon bombings in which the suspects were Chechen immigrants, some members of Congress say proposed legislation needs another look. Ron Paul back with us here on Market Makers, the former congressman from Texas, presidential hopeful. Do you think, Dr. Paul, this tragedy is an opportunity to fix our immigration system? Well, there's always an opportunity because there's a need for it, but I don't think they're going to solve any problems at all uh, because they're too big and they're very complicated. They are very much involved with economics. I don't think you can deal with immigration unless you deal with the welfare state, both a welfare incentive for some people here not to work and an incentive for others to come and get some uh, free services. And also, uh, I, I think it's to, uh, more important that we look at our work permit, letting people come in and work, and put aside this idea of how we're going to give automatic citizenship. That becomes a political football because everybody's lining up. Who's going to get the votes? Some one side says, oh, we're going to get all the votes. We want them all to be legalized. But I think that you have to deal with an economic policy and uh, really open up the uh, opportunities for people to come uh, back and forth and, and to work, but not to insist that uh, everybody's going to become a citizen because I don't think that's going to work under these cir circumstances. Dr. Paul, I want to ask you about what's happening in the GOP right now. Your son, Rand Paul, the senator from Kentucky, uh, made himself even more famous than he already was with that fantastic filibuster. I mean, impressive at the very least over the issue of drones. He has an opportunity to galvanize the Republican Party. But the old guard, with the help of people like Karl Rove, appears to be circling the wagons and trying to keep the Tea Party out. How's it going to end? <laughs> Well, with a weakened uh, Republican Party, uh, because, you know, uh, we did fairly well in the presidential campaign. We had a lot of delegates, and they were excluded from the convention. And uh, the rules have been written so that, that makes it even worse for anybody to challenge the status quo, the people who have been in charge. They don't want their party to be broken up. So when the young people want to come in, they resist it. And it was the young people that uh, were supporting me and my campaign to the tune of millions of people very interested. But nobody comes and says, well, how can we get... The Republicans don't come and ask me how we can get the young people interested because I'd want them to change foreign policy, I'd want them to change economic policy, I'd want them to balance the budget, and I'd want to have them talk about the Fed, and the establishment in both parties aren't interested in talking about any of those issues. The young people are. But if there's no solidarity inside the Republican Party, Dr. Paul, how on earth does it win the next election? Well, I think the solidarity is the same problem in Democrat parties and the Republican Party. It's ongoing. There's always factions. And, of course, uh, I want to unify everybody in the, in the belief in the cause of liberty, sound money, balanced budget, the Constitution. So I would say, yes, uh, there's a good way to unify them. But to, for unity, for the sake of unity, makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, why should everybody give up on their beliefs? But, uh, yes, the old, the old guard uh, are losing their way. The party is getting smaller. It is splintered. And they will have to face up to the fact that if they talk about limited government and personal liberties, they have to, you, you know, actually believe in it and do something about it because the young people won't be fooled. And, and if, if this continues, the party will become smaller. So quickly, do you think your son should run for president in 2016, as he perhaps has hinted? No, you'll have to ask him. I have no idea what he wants to do.